Hey everyone, Will here. I've got a product that I'm excited to show off uh, today. Uh, a few months ago I got on Mass Drop. Now they've changed to drop.com and rebranded a bit. But uh, at the time there was a tent that came up that I'd never heard about. And it was a tent called the X Mid, designed by Dan Durston. And it's since received quite a bit of buzz in the uh, mass drop or drop.com community and so it's uh, had a lot of demand for it uh, the first lot of it uh, was available for order over the winter and I think that first batch shipped probably about a month ago um, maybe two months ago uh, and then another drop opened up uh, a couple months ago and I was lucky enough to get in on that uh, the day it opened up and uh, it sold out really fast so I, I jumped on it right when it opened that morning and so here it is it finally arrived about a week ago for this uh, shipment and so now I'm excited to open it up and we'll have a look at it together here all right, so of course it's got the invoice, and then the tent itself. Now open the packaging up here. Nice stuff sack here. Got the X Med with the. Uh, mass drop by Dan Durston there if you can see that it's a nice little um, packaging or uh, stuff sack here and it feels like nice material here unroll this and like the outer roll here is looks like it's got um, all the mesh bug screen here and no CM netting so that would definitely be the inner part of the tent and then got uh, some stakes here they should be titanium it's supposed to be eight of them if I remember right so open that up here just double check on that Also got some guy lines, so that's nice. Come on. All right, so yeah, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight titanium shepherd hook stakes that uh, the tent comes with. And then, of course, the last piece, and arguably the most important piece, would be the uh, fly here. So, let's get this all set up and have a look at it and see how it looks when it's all pitched. Alright guys, so got it roughly pitched here, at least the fly only. Um, I left the inner off for now because I want to see what it, how roomy it is with just the fly. Uh, because obviously this is modular and you can uh, take it out and pitch just the fly only if you're not worried about bugs. Uh, and so let's just have a look at the fly only mode here. So as you can see, the, the basic shape of it right off the bat 
looks very much like the Sierra Designs high route tent designed by Andrew Skirka and yet when you look from the sides here you'll notice that it's actually a little bit different uh, while it does share the same rectangular shape making it real easy to pitch just four corners that you got to get squared with each other um, this tent actually angles out whereas I think the uh, Andrew Skirka tent that he made for Sierra Designs uh, is more of a vertical wall at least on one side where this tent you get a dual vestibule on both sides um, and so it, there is more of an angle there and it's nice uh, kind of sh helps to shed the wind a little bit this is supposed to be a very storm worthy tent uh, as you can see each edge goes clear to the ground here so very very nice uh, very private so a lot of privacy uh, for tarp only or fly only mode here so I did get this to see how it compares with my um, tarp tent notch that I really like uh, but one drawback with the notch that a lot of people have complained about is that the vestibule doors on the notch um, stand up a few inches from the ground and the, with the way that it pitches against the internet and everything um, there is potential for a splashback and a really really bad uh, downpour rainstorm depending on the, the terrain you're, you're on and, and uh, the exposure to the storm and all that. Something else to point out with uh, the fly hair is the material is not sill nylon as is the case with my tarp tent notch. This is actually 100% uh, polyester, 20D, 420 to be exact, and it is coated with a combination of silicone and polyurethane. And so being polyester uh, with that co waterproof coating on it, um, Unlike sil nylon, this should not have any kind of sagging issues. Uh, you don't have to re-tighten it or make it more taut uh, when you're holed up in a rainstorm as it gets cold and wet. Uh, there shouldn't be any problems with sagging here. So a quick look around the corners here is uh, you got, again, the shepherd hook stakes here and some cordage around here and some little line locks to just tighten it up and make it a little more taut. Uh, decent looking stitching here. Looks good. Um, as you can see there's some waterproof taping here. Might show it better on the other side. But uh, all the seams do come taped and so don't have to worry about uh, seam, seal seam sealing the seams myself. Um, here's a guy line right here already pre-installed with the line lock on it. Um, again all the corners are about the same. Um, on either side there's another little tie out loop here probably mainly for uh, rolling up the door here. We'll look at that in a second. Um, there's some peak vents here. Oh there we go. Here's a strut. So it's got a little strut in there to open up the peak vent, give you some ventilation. Another guy line on this corner. And so very um, stable looking though, just on its own without guy lines out. Shouldn't need to put those out except for high wind situations. All right, so let's open this thing up and have a look on the inside. So one thing I failed to do when I set this up is uh, it takes a fifth and a sixth, sixth stake to make the door extra taut here. So I just added a stake to this door and did the same thing on the other side. So now let's open it up and have a look inside. Here's a look at the inside here. You've got trekking poles holding it up. And uh, yeah, not too bad in here. 
Just for comparison, I'm going to throw in a pad or two and, and see how that goes around these uh, trekking poles. Alright, so despite being a one-person tent, if you do the fly-only mode here, you can easily accommodate two pads. Normally I do um, more inflatable pads. These are self-inflating foam pads, but uh, they're already uh, set up because that's how I store them. Uh, these are my kids' pads, but they are full adult size, um, 20 inches at their widest point and the standard 72 inches in length or thereabouts so as you can see um, there's plenty of space around them for you know gear you can place a pack here um, still place pack on on that side um, so yeah uh, not too bad here this is nice make this a two-person setup uh, without the inner uh, when you don't have to worry about bugs so that's a look at the inside with the fly only mode. Now I'm gonna try and attach the inside or the inner uh, portion here and have a look at that. Inside, each of these corners uh, has a little bit of a cord here that, uh, with a little mitten hook that loops onto a D-ring on each corner. And the peaks um, up here have a little uh, buckle, just a basic plastic buckle clip there that goes up. And as you can see on the Inside here, the inner is actually cut at a diagonal. So um, you lay kind of diagonally inside here. This is what allows for the vestibule spacing to work with the rectangular uh, design uh, on the fly. And here's your vestibule space against the tent here. Uh, you got your inner, you got your vestibule, and just for comparison's sake, here's a picture of my hand, and there's just, I can tell you, there's plenty of space. Set your pack there, put your shoes out, um, or clear that out, and set up a, a cooking setup here if you need to cook in the weather, and uh, shelter yourself from that. So here's a look with the pad inside here, and uh, as you can see, a little bit of space there, so uh, anything over six to six feet, a couple inches, is probably going to push it for comfort-wise in here. But I am 5'10", so let's look at how I can lay down. Alright guys, so I am 5 foot 10 inches. Allowed myself a couple inches of space here, so got some headroom. And looking down at my feet here, I've got uh, about oh six inches of space beyond my feet here, so fairly comfortable in here. And uh, what's also cool about this tent is there's a little bit of a gear loft or gear gear pockets up here for your know, phone, glasses, um, little accessory items like that. And yeah, it's not too shabby in here. So that's a look at the X-Mid Ultralight one person tent here, all set up in its glory. Uh, get another look around from sides here. Oh yeah, um, and again in more storm conditions there's a little loop here on the edges of each side. You can also throw another stake in there if you need to. 
Um, got one on all sides, all four sides here. So, uh, pretty excited to have this. Um, so, very sleek looking. Just for kicks and giggles, I also set up the inner by itself in case you wanted to go uh, without the fly and just protect yourself from bugs for the night. Um, this is just a simple staking in on the four corners and then took the extra guy lines and attached them to this trekking pole, staked those out. And uh, for the trekking pole, I just took the uh, belt loop here, just gave myself a little slack and looped that around the trekking pole. Um, now, it's not the prettiest looking thing. As you can see, it's kind of a odd shape here. Uh, but it's functional, for sure. Uh, you could definitely lay out in there and, and at least be protected from swarms of bugs. And uh, yeah, so let's have a look at the, the weight of everything all packed up. While I'm packing it away, I should also note that the stuff set here comes with uh, some nice little setup instructions. Alright, so I got it all stuffed away in the sack here. Gonna just have a look at the weight of it. The uh, information given for it says that the whole package should be just over 28 ounces and some change with uh, the stakes and guy lines on there. Um, should be right about 20 ounces, 28 ounces just for the inner tent and the fly by itself uh, together. All right, so this is giving me a reading of 33.2 ounces. And uh, again, that's with stakes included. If I take these stakes out, And then equal it back out. Here we go. All right, that's 31 ounces, and that's with the stuff sack. And uh, so, probably take the stuff sack away and probably get to right around 28 ounces uh, with the inner and the outer. So, I'd say it's pretty good uh, for a polyester tent. All right, I also want to show. No, it's all stuffed back into its stuff sack. The size comparison of it all tucked away here against an algae bottle. As you can see, uh, it's, barely, it's, it's fairly quite compact. And so I really like that, very packable. Doesn't take up much space at all in your pack. It's gonna wrap up this little quick look at the um, X-Mid Ultralight One Person Tent. Uh, designed by Dan Durston from MassDrop, now drop.com. Uh, again, very excited to have this tent. Um, not sure uh, how I'm going to choose between this and my tarp tent notch on some of my outings. Might just flip a coin. Uh, but it's also nice to just have another ultralight option, um, particularly one that's a little simpler to set up than the tarp tent notch, and that'll be nice for my wife. I can send her out with this. Um, as opposed to the ultralight dome tent that we have. She does like the, the dome tent though. It's pretty simple for her to set up. Um, uh, but if she has like friends to take out with her, um, this adds another option uh, again for um, her to save weight there. And also with my kids. Uh, my daughter daughters are obviously getting older and so uh, usually let them take dome tent. I'll take my notch. Uh, but now I can take my notch and one, they can take uh, this and uh, just have a little bit more lightweight there if, if we're going to take trekking poles to go with it. Um, so just adds extra options and um, yeah, be fun to see uh, where it gets used this year.